Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Tanisha, I gotta go, alright? Uh-huh. I'm gonna change, I promise Ricardo Milos, he's the perfect man With an even more perfect smile He is a man who is only ever in one widely known video But against all odds, he's become one of the greatest and longest lasting memes of all time he makes straight men question everything. I was not gay. I was gay. He's gone viral four different times, spanning various countries, continents, and meme formats. Many have wondered where he went since his rise to fame, since he seemingly disappeared. But today, we will do a deep dive on Ricardo and find out everything there is to know about this legend, including his lost videos and where he went. But before we get into where he is now, let's go back to the beginning of Ricardo's life. Ricardo was born in Rio, Brazil on November 11th, 1977, so his zodiac sign is, and I quote, a sexy scorpion. What else would he be? He and his identical twin brother were adopted at 10 months old. Ricardo states, yes, there are two of us running around on the planet. Smile. They were adopted by a Canadian mother and a Greek father, which is where he gets his Greek name, Milos. And at some point, he moved to the southeastern United States. In high school, he would play soccer, track, and of course, wrestling. <laughs> After high school, he majored in business at the University of Miami. And he apparently has a master's and PhD in sexology? Ricardo is apparently a sex doctor. If you want to see more about his life before his fame, you can check out his bio. Fun fact, his favorite food is pineapple pizza. Ah, oh, that's good. One of his hobbies is dining out. I didn't really know that that uh, counted as a hobby. And he really seems to like John Travolta. With a resume as illustrious as his, you might be wondering, what career did Dr. Milos decide to take? Well, Ricardo decided to become a male model, dancer, and entertainer. He had a glorious website. Welcome to the official Ricardo Milos website. Come, feel the heat, see my passion, and desire my intensity. This site was created for your viewing enjoyment and to have a front row seat for an intimate view into my life. Milos was so talented that on his website, it states he would go on tour across the country. What was he doing on tour? Well, I'm not really sure. Ricardo had such a loyal fan base that he was even selling postcards and posters of himself. Look guys, I'll, I'll pay a small bounty if anyone can recover an original or signed copy of any of these. Especially the Praise the Sun one. I need that on my wall. Our man was living large. However, in January 2008, a film starring Ricardo would be released that would change his and our world forever. Jock butt. Though Ricardo only appeared for 10 minutes, he would make quite the impact. If you're wondering what type of film Jock butt is, this is an ass worship lover's dream DVD. We travel the world to bring you all the top muscle models with the most amazing muscle butts. Jock Butt features 14 incredible bodybuilders flexing their beefy butts, leaving you wanting more Jock Butt action. The film is truly a work of art, or as much of a work of art a pornographic film can be. I'm an artist. I'm a performance artist. Ricardo actually opens the film. I guess he is the Jock Butt. You gotta love how they misspelled his name. Truly, they spared no expense on the budget. And that, my friends, is how the legendary dance clip was born. Fun fact, the song Dota isn't actually the original Ricardo dance song. It's actually Open Your Eyes. Though the dance was legendary, the clip should have gone unnoticed under normal circumstances. However, a certain meme community in Asia managed to notice Ricardo's star power before the rest of us and subsequently led to his first viral surge. On October 10th, 2010, the Ricardo dance went viral after it was published on the Japanese website 
Nico Nico Duga. In the section, Gachi Muchi, Muscular Voice. The Gachi Muchi meme is a phenomenon that would take an entire video to explain, but to make short of it, it's a meme trend that started in Asia, mainly in Japan and China, that consists of taking homoerotic material from the West and reconfiguring it into a highly complex musical and meme format. The community has even gone on to make their own story and character traits for all the men featured consistently. Most of the other popular characters in the format have hundreds of videos and clips to pull from. Let us remember these timeless words as we can. However, Ricardo only has and needs one to stand among the greats. Ricardo would go on to become a popular minor character in Gachimuchi, and around a year later, he would go viral again in another community. It appears that there's some cross-pollination between the Gachimuchi and Toho communities, because Ricardo's influence has managed to spread to them as well. What's Toho, you ask? It's an anime girl game, or anime style game, Supposedly, they don't like it being called anime. But what does this have to do with Ricardo? Well, in around July 2011, the Toho community posted videos on Nico Nico and YouTube called Dancing Like a Butterfly, which featured Toho girls dancing to Ricardo's iconic dance with the song Butterfly from Dance Dance Revolution. This then led to the trend going viral with multiple variations. That's enough of that. So yes, Japan was memeing Ricardo for nearly a decade before us. So how did Ricardo react to his initial fame? Well, we don't really know, because at this time, Ricardo was on tour from 2011 to 2012, doing whatever it is that he was doing. Information is scarce from this time, but it appears Russians have begun re-uploading clips of Ricardo from this period and are remastering them in 8K 60 frames per second. How did they get these? Where did they get these? Why are they taking the time to remaster them in 8K? We may never know. However, one of the clips appears to be an obscure second scene of Ricardo from Jockbutt. Some clips of the scene definitely have meme potential, especially that look. But I can't show the full clip. Our researchers almost needed to buy Jockbutt to get full context for the scene, but lucky for them, the Gachimuchi Wiki has a story section. A story section. Before we move on to Ricardo's modern fame, it should be noted that Mark Wolf Productions produced Jockbutt, and Mark personally directed it. Who is Mark Wolf? Some of you Gachi fans might actually know who he is already. Hey buddy, I think you got the wrong door. The leather club's two blocks down. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck you, leather man. I'll show you who's boss in this gym. I'll show you who's boss. So that's right, Mark Wolf was likely behind the camera as Ricardo did his iconic dance. The Gachi Muchi universe is more interconnected than the MCU. Ricardo's meme was present, but would fade into relative obscurity. Until... Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Be sure to join us next week as we look at part two. Fair warning, the information in the video is gonna be pretty shocking. So remember to subscribe with all notifications on to see that and share the video to support the channel since independent creators such as myself are being delisted on YouTube in favor of the Jimmies. I'm horrified and I'm sorry and I'm embarrassed. Or if you didn't like it, be sure to share it with someone that you don't like so they can suffer just like you did. 30 minutes of torment. It's been a while since I upload, so it's a bit of a treat, and thank you for your patience. I've managed to find all of the lost Ricardo Milos videos, and I just posted them on the Discord. There's a lot of untapped meme potential there. To get to the Discord, 
Just click on the channel icon and then click on the Discord icon right on the channel. It'll take you right there. Also, we just made a Patreon, so be sure to go check that out if you want to support us and have your name appear in the credits of future videos. Alright guys, again, thanks so much for coming today. I'll be sure to see you next time. One week from today, we'll be posting the final part of this, and I'm excited to see you guys all there. Please come join us, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Alright, stay safe. You guys have a good one. Peace out.